My name is Daisy Fagan and I'm doing a PhD in History at the University of Birmingham. My research focuses on activism and activist networks in Sheffield in the 1970s and 80s. I'm specifically interested in how old social movements like the labour movement and trade unionism and new social movements like feminism, gay liberation, the campaign for nuclear disarmament developed um, and engaged with each other at the local level. I'm also interested in how other forms of local politics, like local government, interacted with these movements. I look at these movements as not as isolated phenomena, but as interactive and developing networks um, that informed each other and shared tactics and personnel, and possibly most importantly, funding. Um, my research focuses on the 1970s and 80s, and that's a time in Britain of great political change and economic change as well. Um, it covers Thatcherism um, and Sheffield at that time went from having a thriving steel industry to um, having an unemployment rate of over 16%. Um, and it's really interesting to look at how a city that was built on industry and on a really strong tradition of labour politics dealt with these um, economic and political changes. Um, Sheffield had the nickname the Socialist Republic of South Yorkshire in this time and I guess to a certain extent what I'm trying to do is work out what this meant and um, I'm trying to do this by interviewing activists and um, looking at archive material, um, campaign materials from different movements but also going through council minutes and seeing which groups they were most interested in. Um, and these ideas also tie into um, what local politics, local government was doing at these times um, and this idea of local socialism and that local government was perhaps in the 80s the key site of power um, for leftist politics.